Tilly? Hello. How you doing? I'm good. Some of them here that treat me all right. Nice. Jack, you are a sad. Look at those clothes. You, huh? Morning, Arthur. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... It's okay, Ma. I ain't much of a mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll... I'll get some money and get you some new ones. <laughs> Arthur, <laughs> just had a few dollars. I could clothe my son. <laughs> John's useless, and I. <laughs> I don't know. Here, I got a little. Will five do? <sighs> you love.
lovely man. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Jack. Good morning, Uncle Arthur. How's it going? You okay? I'm bored. Great. Well, go find some mischief to get up to. Uh-huh. Hi there. There he is. My favorite son. The best man amongst us. You okay, Arthur? Never better. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. This Mr. Miller is a hell of a writer. Like a modern day Elijah. What you preparing for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mound up then. Let's go. Come on now, boy. <laughs> You know, it was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. The bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. There was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people... Well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here, to the left. Over there. You see them all? Incredible, aren't they? We should only kill one of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Yep. There we go. Skin and butcher it. Take the horns, too. It can all be used. Good job. Throw that on your horse and mount up. I don't want to go check something out. Okay, let's go. Where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow him. All right. Lead the way. Already starting to rock.
Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. Look, another dead bison. On the hill to the right. Come on. Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm gonna take a look. What a damn waste. since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Let's go check it out. Bastards. Just killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. I kill when I need to. Shoot those bison. What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What? We. Ah! Oh! It's that business of mine! Good God, you're crazy! I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you <clears throat> killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, oh, please, don't. Kill me! I'm begging you! All right! Now get out of here! Oh, just, don't... don't shoot me, mister! I got a family! Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Okay. I'm gonna see if there's anything worth taking from their camp. I'll catch up with you later.
Idiot. Easy now. She was already gone. Tell her. I never stop. Come on, pal. Who was that? Just me. Now, boy. Hi, Mr. <laughs> By the time he passed, he didn't know his left from his right. Bad business. I just hope that's not what's happening to me. I mean... I meant to tell you, the Pinkertons also said they caught up with Mac. Bastards finished him off. Oh, damn it. I assumed as much, but that is a real shame. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Whatever you say. How are you doing? The same as Mr. Esquilla. So is judging others, my little friend. Me dad used to say, the bigger the box, the smaller the gift, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Your dad? Yeah, he died. Yeah. From the sound of things, he was quite something. Yeah, quite something. My father, he always say to me, if someone disrespects you, fillet them with a knife. If you know what I mean. I wasn't disrespecting. I was just looking after your mortal soul, honest. Get out of here. Hey, Arthur. Well, we know you ain't a vain man. We know you ain't a wise one. Now get out of here. Do something useful. How you doing? Good, brother. How are you feeling? 
Taylor. Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. You always do. <laughs> yes, I'm good at that. I... I messed up in Blackwater. I made a goddamn fool out of myself. You done that before. <laughs> I know. Tell him, Arthur. Tell him we're okay now. We're okay, Dutch. Jose is right. We're just getting back on our feet. You'll get us out of this. We are out of this. We need to keep out of it. So what do you think? We need to make some money and find ourselves an escape route, same as usual. But we are making money. And we will find an escape. We are gonna be okay. I agree. We'll get some big money and... get lost. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come on now, boy. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but <laughs> perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. The cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. You know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. And you'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Ramsbottom, at your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. <laughs> 